Hi, I'm Noah Bombard with the Eagle Tribune. I'm here again with Dave Granlin, uh, nationally syndicated uh, artist and uh, mm. uh, cartoonist, who uh, is going to show us a little bit about the process of uh, creating a cartoon. Uh, Dave, mm. uh, show me exactly what you go through when you go to draw something. Well, first of all, you have an image in your head, or a sort of a, a concept. You've, for example, if we're talking about the, uh, the U.S. economy, people have always said that, well, we're moving ahead, uh, or even prior to the, the collapse of the, of the, of the industry, uh, the banking industry and that. So, symbol of America, I could either go with an eagle or Uncle Sam, uh, since it's not particularly the, the president at fault himself. So, we'll just start, we'll, I'm going to put Uncle Sam in a vehicle, um, just make it an old-fashioned type of vehicle, and to do that, in my head, I'm, I've already seen a car. Uh, it's not going to be a, a Toyota here, it's just going to be a small one. Starting off with just a, as a, a radiator cap, so you know it's not going to be a modern car here I'm drawing. <laughs> Sometimes I'll, I'll just draw something that's old fashioned, or just, as long as it's convertible, it doesn't matter what kind of a vehicle it's going to be, I can just draw it, pretty much anything. And this yeah. is a, a generic car, so it's not anything in particular that, uh, so people aren't going to be distracted. Say if I were to draw a Corvette, they say, well, why, do you, why is he driving a Corvette? I think just by saying that this is uh, maybe the U.S. economy, it's uh, old and traditional here. I'm going to be putting Uncle Sam behind the wheel here. And this is what I would consider the rough draft. This is the concept that you, you would play around with before you do the final inking. Maybe I do this in pencil. Maybe I would, uh, but you don't have to get too elaborate when you're doing a rough draft thing right just here. Just sketching out your right, idea, right. The thought process. I've got to put some wheels on it. Now, you, you also, since I'm usually dealing with just one photograph, I mean one picture, you have to tell the whole story in one shot. It's not like I have a script cartoon where I have three or four illustrations to, to tell the story. So I'm going to say that this vehicle is going quite fast. So as the wheels are bouncing alongside here, and uh, this one's shadow on the bottom here, on the side here. And movement lines, these are very important to tell the story. Puff of smoke, you have a piece of paper blowing up on the side, kicking up things. Shadow underneath, really getting some speed on here. Now, Uncle Sam, of course, that was um, Uncle Sam and a number of other cartoonists. I mean, a cartoonist had conjured up Uncle Sam as a image there. Uh, I think Nast, uh, was one that in the 1800s had, had drawn him probably the way we perceive him now. But for me, this is just my quick version of Uncle Sam. Of course, not in color. Everything that's uh, just to give the set eye. And this is, uh, he's sort of a, a happy Uncle Sam here. <laughs> as he's driving along, his bow tie. Gripping the steering wheel down here. You can see now why a, a closed car with a roof, right. wasn't, unless I st had him sticking his head out of the top of the roof, uh, like a, out of a Volkswagen, Volkswagen sunroof. But this will work just as well. Well, people will say, well, how, how are we able to put all these things together? It's cartooning and handwriting are very closely related. Is it once you start the, the motion, and once I began with this radiator cap, it's like the beginning of the sentence and it just sort of moves through. Mm -hmm. And uh, these different shapes that I'm putting this thing together with are not something that are just unique to this particular drawing. I've done the same movement if I'm drawing a Barack Obama or a George Bush, that right there. So he's going along quite, quite quickly. He'll have his, his tails blowing out the back here as well. Now, you can say that this is the U.S. economy. Seems to be running okay, and all of a sudden, Uncle Sam wasn't paying attention to the signs. So we've got a little stop sign right here, and I have to make sure that I have the right number of signs on our stop sign. Eight. And he's hit it. He's not just gone through it. He's hit it. Uh, and maybe Uncle Sam needed some glasses here. I'm going to give him some glasses. Or maybe he's been too much on the meds or something <laughs> driving. Uh, and again, too, this is rough draft drawn very quickly, the concept right here. Now, I could put U.S. on here, but that's kind of redundant. I could put the economy. I'll just put a dollar sign right here for the U.S. economy. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's driving on Wall Street. Uh, but now things get precari precarious because the stop sign was there for a reason, or there might have been a sign that said bridge out, that what was once a very firm ground now turns into a cliff. 
And, you know, can we stop? Will there be time? It's like a Perils of Pauline type of thing. And the whole idea with the cartoon is not to get so many things going on that's going to confuse people. Just keep it, keep it simple. Uh, I could have, I could write the U.S. economy on here if I wanted, or econ, uh, and then just hope for the best and hope that this isn't uh, a Toyota and trying to stop <laughs> before he goes, goes to the edge right here. But, and this may, cartoon may not work this week. Maybe it's, uh, it's an evergreen cartoon that can be used next week or the week after. But it's usually the cartoons that I'm drawing, I try to be timely and current and not always for the cheapest laugh. There's like when, the, when Haiti uh, had their earthquake, there was no laughing down there at all. Yeah. But then it became a, uh, all the countries trying to help mm -hmm. ended up being a gridlock at the airport with them trying not to help. Then you can start doing cartoons about the process of you have all this stuff to give people, but you can't get it to them because the mechanics are not there. There's no roads and stuff. So that's, uh, that's pretty much how a cartoon uh, evolves from there. But there's, a, there's a, a thing that people don't realize is that, uh, let me waste another piece of paper here, <laughs> is that cartooning and handwriting are very closely related. If I can just go like this, backwards G, frontwards G, letter C, backwards C, letter A, letter S, an O, some parentheses, uh, quotation marks, and a cursive M. Just with those, they look like letters of the alphabet already. So if you're going to make a kid down here with a cursive M, it's like ma you're making the letter M and not stopping, going backwards with it. Uh, just take a couple of eyeballs right here, put a little reflection mark on the eyes right there. Uh, and now you get the beginnings of a human being, a kid, uh, and the human ear is shaped like the letter C. But what if you put a letter A inside the C, and you had a C with a letter A there. On this side you have an S. The nose is, uh, well, shaped like a backwards, the nostril here on the side. Of course, too, you can just draw a nose like that, but from the front. But just putting a backwards G right there, some parentheses over here, and uh, with a smile. Then you start working into emotions. The face is very expressive as hands are. And these few little quotation marks here we have on the side, we can just use these as little hash marks up here, a look of surprise, a look of doubt, a look of weariness. <laughs> and you want to show embarrassment, it's combining the look of doubt with a, with a grin. It's what, uh, what students usually have for not their homework. So just with those few lines and these few things up here, but I can make you know, Barack Obama and a truck and a jet all from little That's components symbols. like this. Yeah. And every cartoonist has these little, well, they're like uh, Lego building blocks yeah. of sorts. When you put them together, you get cartoons. So fascinating. So you take these concepts and then uh, you sketch them out and then when you've got something you like, you sit down and do the final, right. final draft. Some days I get too many ideas and there's only one window to throw it in. Yeah. Usually opinion pages only have one cartoon that they need a day. Sometimes they, they'll print multiples on, on the weekends or something. But things change so quickly and I want to do everything all at once and it's just not going to happen. Uh, any, any week that goes by, but you no know, sooner had I blinked and people are on to something else. Right. Whether it was Balloon Boy one week and uh, <laughs> Sarah Palin's uh, palm writing the next week. Yeah. And, but they're, they're off on the different things every time. Fascinating. And that's uh, How to Draw a Cartoon by uh, Dave Granlin.